Welcome to another episode of A Morning Cup of Cow Shit. Today we're talking about yesterday's teaser video. If you didn't watch that, shame on you. What's happening is you have images that are representing the same place, except one is marketing a product and the other one is just trying to sell the land. And the images used are drastically different. Let's show a few seconds of yesterday's clip so you know what I'm talking about. is sort of a continuation from the previous Morning Cup of Cow Shit episodes because we're still going on with that same family, the Splettas, a seashore ranch family. And this is one of their properties outside the seashore, except it's being advertised as a Strauss family dairy. On the website itself, it actually promotes first the Spletta family, and then on other pages talks about the legacy of the Strauss family. So I, I'm not quite sure what's going on, except that anytime you want to help people feel better about their purchases, just throw in the word family. Is an empire still a family? I guess it is. So technically, this is still accurate. Today's episode is kind of a preview of a bigger project I'm working on called the Ecology of Point Reyes, because this decimated land that you're looking at is the sad reality of what animal agriculture, ranching, whether it's dairy or beef, has done to Marin County, has done to Point Reyes, has done to California, has done to the Western United States. I mean, this is a land of death. This is terrible. And in this absence of green perennial shrubs or green perennial or biennial grasses, the only thing that isn't dead and horrific looking are the trees that mercifully were not chopped down. These cows are eating additional feed the entire year. A small portion of what they consume is grazing. In fact, that land is dead most of the year, so a huge portion of the calendar year is almost exclusively the additional imported feed in these beautiful, charming feeding troughs. You know, the website talks about the ideal conditions for dairying and the native grasslands and the coastal prairies, that doesn't exist anymore because you killed them. Your industry killed those things. This isn't native grassland. This is the BS that you replant every year. There's nothing here left that's natural except for the few trees that you didn't chop down. The rest of it is concrete, shit, mud, dirt, invasive, fire fuel plants. Oh, and let's not forget the stock ponds, the poop ponds, the ponds that are used to deal with the excessive amounts of waste that are collected and then liquefied within the ponds. And sadly, there's a natural reservoir on the property. I'm going to go ahead and say that the water quality there is not good. I don't recommend going for a swim there. A wise move for both marketing the product and marketing the land, they didn't include any images of the baby cows taken away from the mothers. And even the aerial photos, I don't know where those babies are hidden in this particular case, but it is just a reality of dairies. This is what the dairy just over the hill from this place looks like. I did manage to find their wonderful baby isolation pins. Hashtag dairy. And I'll say at least they didn't insert some fake photos of baby cows next to their moms because that's just a complete lie. Unlike the Point Reyes Ranching Association, which unashamedly puts all kinds of lies on its website. I've got a link that breaks down all of their BS, but just look at the images on it. When's the last time anyone saw a little milk pail or a baby? dairy cow next to its mom. These things don't exist anymore. But what these promotional photos show you is what does exist. There's no 
suckling from the mother. There's no bonding between a mother and a baby. There's extraction by machines on a concrete floor inside of a milking barn. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't belong in a horror movie, at least when you're thinking in human terms. When you're putting another animal in there, suddenly it's fine. But look at that and tell me that that is charming. I read on the website that the cows enjoy roaming these acres most of the day, and then they are bedded down on all natural bedding in their open barns at night. Okay, so most of the year, this looks like hell, and that's what they're roaming through. And at night, natural bedding means imported hay put down. This animal isn't even natural. Your bedding sure as hell isn't natural for that unnatural animal that you've turned into nothing more than a walking flesh factory. The images are so bad, it kind of speaks for itself, but we are so accustomed to seeing this that we kind of don't even register what we're witnessing. This is not good, in case you haven't figured that out. This is not what healthy land looks like. I know what you're saying. This is what it looks like when you work the land. No, this is the house of people who kill the land and kill animals for their living. This is ugly and scary. I grew up on a nightmare that looks like this so you can stop the bullshit. What we call working the land is a war against the land, not living with the land, not becoming part of nature, not working alongside nature. It is humans subduing nature for an industry. It's not taking place in a cubicle, in a high rise, that's true, but that doesn't make it good. Now there is a tiny window of the year in which green comes back. Well, that's mother nature trying to do what it wants to do, except there's no nature left. The only thing that comes back are the introduced agricultural plants. And most of that is forced through agricultural practices like irrigation and dumping excessive manure on the land. These are crops. This is planted. This is all grown to feed cattle. None of this is natural. Now let me show you some photos of the wildlife on this land. Yep, that's all of it. This is a dead zone for flora and fauna of California. Heck, elk inside the National Seashore are considered a problem by this industry. What does that tell you about how this industry feels about wildlife when they're not even within the confines of a national park? But when you go to the store and you want to purchase the lactations of a pregnant bovine and feel better about yourself for doing so, make sure that you envision the pictures that Strauss or the Splettas or whatever the hell's going on here wanted you to think of when you're purchasing those products. Who lives here? Leatherface?